Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Um, thank you for joining me again. My name is Philip Holmes. I am from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And I wanted to come in and check in. Um, I didn't yesterday. Uh, well, I did for a brief two minutes, I think. I don't want to keep my videos long. Uh, because they seem like they bore people or people lose interest and that's not that's not what I'm after um, I'm after bringing in subscribers and people that want to like my videos and so I have to have a platform and that platform sometimes for me is hard to find uh, so please bear with me and uh, the re one of the biggest reasons uh, why it's hard for me to find that platform is I, I struggle with the attention deficit disorder, which is ADD and PTHD and FAS, fetal alcohol syndrome. I, uh, there, there's been new studies on the internet um, that I found on the internet. This professor from Toronto, Ontario, Canada is looking into uh, scanning the brain and with people that uh, deal with alcoholism and deal with it on a daily basis like I do. Um, at, at one point in my life when I was growing up, I had no idea why I was like this. I had no idea what was wrong with me. And I couldn't grasp it and put my brain around the situation that I was born into alcoholism 48 years ago. All my birth mother gave me when I was inside her womb was alcohol. And she got that from because of residential school and pain and agony that uh, our native indigenous brothers and sisters went through 200 years ago, since before Canada was a nation. And that, that brings me to my next, my next topic on murdered and missing indigenous women. Uh, all my, all my mother did when I was growing up was take me to rallies and take me to pro-life, uh, protests and, um, I was introduced to rallying, I was introduced to standing up for those who couldn't stand up for themselves and why it's so important to me and why it's, I'm so passionate about it is because it's real. It's happening in, in real time. Um, our sisters are being stolen. Our sisters are being murdered. And the governments and the police are doing nothing about it because they have an involvement in it. And there's no proof. There's, there's no proof, but there's uh, hearsay. There's people that are hearing stuff that uh, is that has to be addressed about murder and missing indigenous women that 89% uh, the murdered and missing indigenous women in the highway of tears in BC is is done by the RCMP and they, they bury the cases they destroy the evidence and they bury our sisters after they've raped them and to me that that's a very alarming that the people that are hired to protect us are the ones that are doing the damage and uh, from day one um, from day one, indigenous rights haven't mattered. Uh, to the non-indigenous, the non-indigenous, excuse me, and uh, the governments, the governments are supposed to be our mother and father, and we're supposed to be their children, saying we want more, we want more, please give us more. An alarming situation that has come to my attention is is uh, Kevin Annett. And Kevin Annett uh, was a pioneer in helping my brothers and sisters in British Columbia and Port Alberni. Uh, where my father and my uncle were in residential school and Indian hospitals in Port Alberni on, uh, in around 1944. That uh, Kevin Annett said that uh, every single chief and uh, on every single reservation across Canada is put in by the government, the Canadian government, 
that they will get all the riches and they will get all the money and give nothing to the people that live on the reservation. Now, I'm not from a reservation. I'm a city Indian. I was born and raised in the concrete jungle. But when I hear staggering news like that, uh, it tends to raise an eyebrow with me because of my activism, because I am so passionate when it comes to racism. I'm so passionate when it comes to murder to missing indigenous women. Now, everything that I'm saying here is hearsay. So please don't take my word for it. Please do your own research. I, I implore you, do not take my word for it. Uh, do your own research and, and what I'm talking about. Like I said, look up Kevin Annett. He uh, is a pioneer when it comes to helping our people. Um, he's done nothing but help our people and the governments have done nothing. He should have spearheaded the murdered and missing indigenous women and uh, the re residential school uh, way before the truth and reconciliation with the government of Canada. Because the government of Canada has shown nothing but uh, tyranny and, and hurt towards our people. But thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for listening.